know the name of the architect who designed one of the world's most famous monuments. Now, to talk about something we do know, before we enter the Colosseum, you have five minutes. Five minutes to use the facilities. In Italian, they are called cabinetti, not rest rooms. There is no rest for you. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sue, come on. Beautiful. Come on, honey. Tommy, stay close. American Embassy. May I speak with Harry Brackett? Mr. Brackett has left for the day. Uh, may I have his home number? This is very urgent. I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to give that information. May I take a message? All right. The message is, Mayday, Mayday, this is Orville. Talk me down, Wilbur. 4588851, Roma, Diane. All right, ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention? The Colosseum is an enormous place. Hundreds of side passengers. Please, please stay with the group. Smile, honey. One more. Good, good. Honey, look at me. Now, Tommy, I want a big smile from you. All right, all right now hold it. Sue, will you please look at me? Fine. Good, 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 good. Let's go. Tourists from bus 43, please come and get to your ticket. Right. Form a single line and make sure each member of your party has a ticket. Roy! Uh, your ticket. No, I... Oh, I am sorry. In the side, get through there. Right, smart. Where? All right, where? Right. Where? Here. The Colosseum was begun by the Emperor of Vespasian in 72 AD. It could accommodate 50,000 people. The Emperor and his officials sat on the lower level close to the action. Aristocrats were on the second, ordinary people on the third and fourth. Was there a special section for the tourists? <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. We think of the arena as a wide open oval, providing the maximum fighting area for gladiators. But the arena was frequently made to look like a hill or a wooded area. I want to get a picture of this. The Colosseum could be filled with water to create an artificial lake on which naval battles were fought. The roof in Tommy, Tommy, have you seen Tommy? No, I thought he was with you. Ted? Well, he couldn't have gone too far. You, I'll go look for him. You stay with the group. Okay, I'll be back. Tommy. What are you doing, Roy? I've changed my mind. Well, I haven't. Give me your half. 
I don't have it. Tommy! Don't play games with me, Roy. Give it to me. Stage one. <laughs> you mean? Not bad, not bad. You know, we really should do this more often. Yes, well, I have told you that before in at least six different languages. Well, for, for some reason, I, I can't quite fathom. This is the one I understand best. Mm. You know, Harry, we could just stay here. Let's take the trip. Nancy, we've got the royal suite at La Piccolina. So what makes it royal? The king size bed. <laughs> oh. Okay, uh, we'll we'll get up at dawn. We'll go for a run along the Mediterranean. We will. Uh... We will be busy at dawn. Ah, it appears the man's insatiable. Put me to the test. Inspector. No, no, that's okay. Better be important. Hello? Murder. We've taken one of your citizens into custody. I'm with his wife and son here in Piazza Repubblica. The victim? A man carrying an Australian passport. But he could be an American, too. It happened in the Colosseum. The paparazzi are loving it. I'm on my way. An American arrested for murder. Frustration and diplomacy is one thing. But in romance... I'll go with you. I'll check it out first. Davidson was found standing over the body with a gun in his hand, sir. Now, what do you think? Is he telling the truth? I'm not ready to make a judgment until we know more, sir. <laughs> Such caution is uncharacteristic, Harry. Maybe it's maturity, Mr. Ambassador. Excuse me, Mr. Brackett, but this message came in last night. When we get back, Ethel. 
The media will be looking for sensation. Oh, I'm sure. Mr. Ambassador, how do you justify Americans bringing their violence to Rome, huh? You are going to a diplomatic conference, sir. And so my position is no conference. Not the sort of climate we planned for Senator Tennant's visit. We still have a couple of days, sir. The secretary advises me Tonnard feels our attempt to bring American and Italian high-tech companies together is a way of taking jobs from Americans and giving them to Italians. He also believes that any multinational cooperation is just a fancy tax dodge. But if we don't act on it, the Japanese will. It's going to be a hard sell. But if we give the senator what he wants, lots of publicity and a private audience with the Pope, and that's already set, maybe then he'll listen to what we want. I think you'll do fine with Senator Tonnard, sir. Harry, how can you be so optimistic about anything at this hour? My jazz background, sir. To play the trumpet at all, you've got to be an optimist. You ever think of making a career of it? <laughs> Harry T. and the Crusaders, a swinging group, <laughs> put me through school. But I listened to Chet Baker and Miles Davis. I knew I'd never be good enough. So, here you are, and I'm glad. Ambassador Voyatovich is as punctual as you are, sir. He's no fool. He arrives early so he can leave early. What? No smile this morning, Alex? Not even a mutual nod? New line out of Moscow? Too much just a book last night. Well? Overindulging in Italian food is an occupational hazard, Alex. I know, I cannot resist. You know, there's a, there's a great new restaurant on Via della Cisterna that serves the best polpatoni in all of Rome. The sauce is... Harry, don't torture me. I'll try it as soon as I can. But not soon enough. Will our remarks this morning be, uh, be extensive? Very brief. I wonder how much the Soviet ambassador can say on the subject of improving grain production. Megan Hillier, I'm the new information officer. Miss Hillier, welcome to Rome. Mike Forte, Cultural Affairs. I'll take this lady to the press office. I've been looking forward to your arrival, Megan. Everyone's on a first name basis here at our level. And we're on the same level. All right. This is your desk, and um, your boss should be in soon. Listen, uh, you know. I know Rome better than most Romans, so maybe you and I should go to... Oh, no. Listen, you've been so kind, but don't let me keep you. What? I'm free this evening. I'll spread the word. Oh, come on, Violets. You and I go to Mario's for some fettuccine tonight. <laughs> I already have plans for tonight. I'm going to bed early. Alone. Yes? Yes, he is. You want it. Oh, it's probably the ambassador again. <laughs> How's Ted? He's doing all right. Just worried about you. Should I have somebody take you to your hotel? I can't speak the language. I can't handle the money. I, I can't even make a phone call by myself. No, we'll stay here. I, I feel safer and I want to be close to Ted. What about something to eat? Huh, Tommy? You can go with him, Tommy, if you're hungry. No, I'll stay with you, Mom. All right. Megan 
familiar. Making myself at home. Sorry I wasn't here to welcome you. That's all right. I assumed you were dealing with this. I want you to know how privileged I feel to have been assigned this post as your assistant. I'll try to keep you busy. Just don't prejudge me, all right? I'm not a lightweight trying to trade on the family name. I fought for this job. Forget that Grandpa Hillier was Chief Justice, Aunt Claire was in the Kennedy cabinet, and Daddy's a senator. I'm looking for a chance to prove what I can do, me, on my own. I hope you'll let me have it. I need an assistant. The department says you'll make a good one. So, put me to work. First couple of weeks will be routine, easing into the way we get things done around here. I was hoping I could help with Senator Tunnard's visit. That schedule's locked in. Oh, but the Senator's an old friend. If I could act as your liaison... I'll keep that in mind, Megan. Good to have you with us. Joe Verga. American citizen, Sonoma, California. This embassy, some place we got here. What can we do for you, Mr. Verga? Help me find my hometown. Sonoma? No, no, no. I, w I was born here in Italy, not far from Rome. Wonderful little town, Bay Campi. Hmm. You know what that means? Bay Campi, it's beautiful fields. Right. It's my village. It had rolling fields all around. See, some of them was planted, but I remember in the spring, a lot of them was covered with wildflowers. Now these crazy Italians, they tell me there's no such place. 7,000 miles I come to see my home, and they tell me it don't even exist. There it is. <laughs> Mr. Verga, this seems like an old map. That's a good map. Suppose you give me a call later. Give me a chance to check into this. When? 46 years. I've been waiting. After lunch. Well, I'll, I'll be here. 40. That's Italian. Yeah, well, I'm from Scranton, but my grandparents are from Calabria. Good people. You'll help me find Bacampi. I know it. Inspector Casali called twice from police headquarters. The new assistant to Miss Russell wanted to say hello. Senator Hillier's daughter, right? Our celebrity. Usual phone messages and this cryptic one I tried to give you earlier. Harry, isn't there anything I can give the press? I'm tap dancing on water. Keep dancing. Thanks. What is it? Mayday, Mayday, this is Orville. Talk me down, Wilbur. 458851, Roma, Diane. Uh, Mayday, an emergency. Orville? Wilbur? In college, this guy and I had a routine. The Wright brothers. Oh, Orville and Wilbur. I was Wilbur. He'd get himself into a jam, I'd talk him down. It was a lot of fun then. Who is Orville? Roy Cummings. The Roy Cummings? My friend, the spy. Cummings and Thorne, wasn't it? They stole the plans for the stealth bomber and then disappeared. It was assumed they'd already defected to Russia. You know. Yeah, put him through. I'm here at the morgue. They got a tentative ID on the murder victim. I think you better come down. Is it Roy Cummings? Harry, sometimes you amaze me. I'm on my way. Ethel? Check out Diane's number. No, not 
Not yet. Can we see Davidson? Please say no. Why the cover-up? There's no cover-up. You don't have to look far to know the all-new 1986 Mazda B2000 is a lot of truck for just $59.95. In fact, $59.95 makes it the lowest price leading import truck in America with all these standard features. Steel belted radiance, a five-speed, tinted glass, even a double wall bed. And for $59.95, you also get a truck with our unprecedented level of ride and handling. The $59.95 Mazda B2000. Very soon, some of you will notice a change in Doritos. Doritos, now with more nacho cheese flavor than ever. <laughs> Definitely. Here's the world-famous Metropolitan Life Representative, champion of security for over 43 million people, reliable source not only of life insurance, but also of auto and homeowner's insurance. Trustworthy, conscientious, caring, responsive, experienced, financially shrewd, perspicacious, smart, a true friend in time of trouble. Your Metropolitan Representative. Get met. It pays. Tuesday, Mr. Bradford gets a birthday surprise. Whee! Did you make a wish? Yes, I did. But he's still here. Three's a crowd at 8, 7 Central. Embassy. Tonight's ABC Sunday night movie. We'll continue in a moment. Tuesday, Angela's best friend falls for Tony. Oh, bingo. My lower lumbar's in love. Who's the boss at its new time, 9, 8 Central? Then, Patty Duke's the president and her husband's wounded trying to save the world. What are you going to tell the president? Her husband could die at any moment. That's too bad. We're only gonna get one press conference out of this. From the creators of Soap, it's the comedy smash, Hail to the Chief. Who's the boss at a new time, 9, 8 Central, followed by Hail to the Chief, Tuesday. Last month, five of us fit in this new Vanagon. Now, it's seven. But we're not the only ones reducing. Your VW dealers are loaded with Vanagons. So they're reducing their supply by dealing like never before. Get the room you won't find in any minivan, plus power steering. Hurry into the VW dealers now before their supply of Vanagons and campers is reduced to nothing. Don't get left out. The Vanagon camper clearance now at your Bay Area Volkswagen dealers. How could something that looks so funny Mm -hmm. Original raisin or honey wheat, it's Thomas's. Mm -hmm. To eat loose and crannies, all the butter, they taste so crunchy. Mm -hmm. Just can't wait, can't wait to. Mm -hmm. Thomas's English muffin, English muffins. Thomas's taste so mouth watering good, people just can't wait to eat them. The original, one and only, funny looking, tasty cooking. Mm -hmm. Graphic protest against animal experiments tonight at 11. And now we continue with Embassy. The only fingerprints on that gun are yours. You can stop looking at Signor Brackett. He's not going to get you out of this. You killed Signor Cummings, and your lying doesn't fool I anybody in the world. I'm not lying to you. You're being. I'm telling you the truth. You haven't listened to me. You don't listen. My name is Ted Davidson. I, I'm from Lubbock, Texas. I'm treating my wife and my son to an Easter vacation in Italy. I, all my life, I've lived in Lubbock, Texas. I, I, I run a little print shop there. We, we do graduation announcements and wedding invitations and, you know, big jobs, small jobs. We do them right, you know. Everybody knows me there. Call the Lubbock police station. Jim O'Dwyer is the chief. The Chamber of Commerce. Somebody, call, call somebody, please. Mr. Davidson, we want to believe you. The other man, the man you say attacked you? He did attack me!
This is Dennis Thorne. Cummings. Dennis. Dennis Thorne? Is, is he Cummings' partner? Mm-hmm. Boy, I don't know. I don't know. It could have been him. Is he in Rome? Uh, possibly. We're trying to find that out. This is supposed to be the best time of our lives, and now it's... What's happening with Tommy and Sue? Can, could I just see them just for a few minutes, please? Fabio, you good morning. I want to check out Cummings' personal effects and clothes again, also Davidson's. What we're looking for is something extremely small. A computer chip. Half a computer chip. The CIA tells me that Cummings and Thorne put the plans on a computer chip. And since they always traveled separately, they probably split it. No one trusts anyone anymore, huh? They set them in. Hmm. Hey, hey, it's okay, you guys. They made a mistake, that's all. Big mistake. Do they have you locked up in a real cell? Yeah, your old man's an international menace. Ted, tell me what I should do. Shouldn't you have a lawyer? Honey, for now, let's just leave it to Mr. Brackett in the embassy, all right? I feel so helpless. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Bye. Mrs. Davison, can I help you in any way? Well, I think I should call Ted's mother. I can arrange that. Look, I didn't think my partner would back out on me like this, and that's the reason for the delay. But uh, I, have a, I have a very good idea where I can uh, locate the other half, though, and, and I'm sure that in a matter of three or, or four days at the most, you'll have it. Uh, is that all right? It will have to do. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No! 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 You have four days. American Embassy, please. Okay, may I help you? Yes, I'll put it there. Mrs. Davidson, I'll leave you with Bye. Tommy, guess where the best hamburger in all Rome is? Where? Right here. Let's go get it. Okay. All right. Mrs. Helen Davidson, Rome calling. Mother, it's Sue. Don't upset yourself. Yes, it's about Ted. No, he hasn't been hurt. Please, you know I wouldn't lie to you. You're doing fine. The meeting has been set for 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Thank you for confirming. Mr. Brackett. Oh, Miss Hillier. Megan Hillier. You owe me a dance, Mr. Brackett. 1976, a charity ball at The Hague. You never came to claim your dance with me. You were with your father. I went to the ball for one reason, to dance with Harry Brackett. And the bum let you down. I was told there'd been a diplomatic emergency. So you're here to claim your dance. And maybe do a little work. Just reporting to the deputy chief. I put some additional briefing papers on your desk. Mr. Brackett's office. I'm sorry, but he's not available. I'll have him return your call. Thank you. Are we on for dinner tonight? Uh-huh. You seem impressed with Miss Hillier's credentials. Oh, we met eight, nine years ago. She was a mere child. Of 20. Harry, you haven't returned the Council General's calls. Uh-huh. When do we receive the new Sri Lankan ambassador? What about that phone number I gave you? Roma Erotica. A number that was not in my Rolodex. And Diane? One of the girls. She'll be available this afternoon at the retail outlet, The Pleasures of Caligula. Portico de Tavia. Thanks, Ethel. 
The pleasures of Caligula. You want some protection? No. Harry. Bye. Sorry to take you away from the orgy, Diane. Who are you? Harry Brackett, U.S. Embassy. How'd you get my name? I don't know any Roy Cummings, and I've got absolutely nothing to say to you. Uh, Diane, Roy gave me your name and your phone number ten minutes before he was killed. If I have to call in the police, they're going to make some real trouble. Okay, I'll talk with you. I liked Roy a lot. So anything I can do, I'll do. But not here and not now. Please, give me a break. Okay. But I'm going to have to have someone to wait for you. He'll stay with you until we talk. Understood. I always wanted to be in a Fellini film. Excuse me. May I help you? No, thank you. The young man, 40, he tried. He tells me my hometown was bombed out by the Germans. There's nothing left. Now it's covered by all these apartment houses, like a suburb. 46 years I've been waiting and planning, and here I am, and there's nothing. Well, even if the town is gone, perhaps there are some people we could put you in touch with, Mr... Verga, Joe Verga. No, thank you. The young man, he's got more important things on his mind. Please, come with me. No sooner said than done, sir. Just leave it to me. Right. Goodbye. Sorry, Nancy. Special assignment. Top priority. You can watch the ambassador's limo later. Let's talk about Joe Verga. Who? Oh, Joe Verga, the old man with the bombed-out village. Yeah, I, I handled him already. Now, Mike. You keep telling me how proud your folks are to have you in Rome. The Forte's come full circle. It's nice. And maybe someday you'll be a deputy chief, maybe an ambassador. But right now, you've got the time for the Joe Vergas. OK? OK, you're right. I'm sorry. There's only one problem. He's, he's gone already. Yeah? You sure you got time for this? Absolutely sure, Mr. Berger. Come on. Okay. Now, there are four people who might remember me. Is Raphael Corsi, Leo Pasquale, Enrico Tamboni, and Eleonora Luraski. Uh, don't waste time trying to find Eleonora. She wouldn't remember. But, but the others, maybe.
it seems to me there's a golden opportunity here for us to come off looking very good. If that ship isn't already in Moscow. Well, do you think it is? No, sir, I strongly believe it's right here in Rome. And whoever recovers it will be this year's hero. Can we do it? Yes, sir. Are you sure? I'll find Thorne and the chip. But fast. This is your number one priority. Give it everything. Everett at stake will set up a conference call for you with the Pentagon and with the others. Oh, and Harry, do you think that Nelson is fully qualified to be control officer for Senator Turner's visit? Nelson will do a fine job, sir. But you'll be on top of it. Of course. You know, Mr. Brackett, I know this sounds crazy, but I'm kind of glad you're shorthanded. It could be dangerous, Mike, but it'll look good on your record. It's up to you. I've seen every Clint Eastwood picture ever made. There'll be a couple of plainclothes policemen to back you up, just in case. Diane is scared. She may or may not be hiding something. I'm hoping she'll find it easier to lower her guard with someone like you. You mean because I come across as basically naive? I hope for your sake and mine that you're not. Good luck, Mike. Sorry, I have to cancel our dinner plans. Oh, Harry. Coming, Thorne? Conference call from Washington. Everybody but the president. I don't mind waiting. No, I got at least a dozen calls I have to make. I'll tell you what. Why don't I call Sergio's and have them order in your favorite, Calamari? I'm not hungry. I'll tell you what. I'll call you later. Okay. <laughs> Impressing the boss? Trying to catch up. Can't do it all the first week. How about sharing an antipasto and some good veal? Oh, Nancy, thanks. But I have other plans. Okay. See you tomorrow, then. You need some good food. Rest. Listen, how about coming home with me for a family dinner? Oh, that would be very kind of you, but... Please, it might take your mind off your troubles. How about it? Please. May I help you, sir? Well, if you're sure it's all right. I am. Come on. Forget the car and you come home with me. I've got Mike with Diane. He's going to call later. Washington, I'm ready whenever they are. Excuse me. I saw your light was on. I was working late, too, and I ordered some food. They sent so much, I was wondering if we could share it. Well, that's very thoughtful and generous. Mm. I hate eating alone. Mm. Calamari. One of my favorites. You have to excuse me. Until later? Until later. Bracket, go ahead.
Your life is a mess. I'm leaving you, Martha. Oh, Tom, please, you can't Sometimes leave. the dishes just have to sit till life's little tragedies are over. He's a beast. Yeah. And dishes that sit are tougher to clean. That's a beast. But only Sunlight Liquid has the juice of one whole lemon to do one tough job. Sunlight cuts baked on, caked on, stuck on food. <whistles> Even grease. Now, Michael Drake. This guy's an animal. Destiny. Right. Lemon Sunlight with one whole lemon to do one tough job. Recently, the Chrysler LeBaron GTS challenged two of Europe's most celebrated sports sedans to a performance showdown. In critical tests, LeBaron GTS decisively beat the Audi in acceleration and the BMW in braking, and it will keep on beating them. With so many mint mouthwashes to choose from. How come your mint is Lister Mint? We think healthy teeth are as important as minty breath. Yeah, and Lister Mint's got fluoride. Scope and Signal don't have it, but Lister Mint has fluoride and reaches in between teeth where your toothbrush can't. How come your mint is Lister Mint? Aren't your teeth as important as your breath? Triple freshening formula Lister Mint with fluoride because healthy teeth are as important as minty breath. It was incredible out there today. I had to work for every point. My muscles feel sore, but they won't for long, because I've got Ben Gay. You can feel it working right away. You know, I also use Ben Gay before I play. It helps me warm up and play more comfortably, longer. And that can make the difference. <laughs> like today. Ben Gay before and Ben Gay after. Feel better with Ben Gay. You can feel it working right away. Tuesday on an all-new episode. Your sister was one of the casualties. Magruder and Lyle declare war on a teenage street gang. At 10, 9 central. Il sugo è pronto, eh? È venuto proprio bene. Sei proprio brava. Eh, lo so, sono brava. Porta i bicchieri, quelli a calice, con i bottiglie uguali. Gli schiattini per la frutta? Anche quelli del dolce. Va bene. I bicchieri a calice, con i bottiglie uguali. La tovaglia, eh? Sì, sì. Anche le posate. May I have some milk, please? Tommy. Per favore. Per favore. Mamma, cosa dice questo ragazzo? Non lo so. Bicchiere. Bicchiere. Latte. Latte. All right. È giusto? Sì, brava. Brava. Bene, anche. Oh, ok. Che dici? Così va, Sorry. It's okay. Let it out. Tonight has been so good for Tommy. And for me. Suddenly I feel so guilty. Enjoying myself while Ted is in jail. Why is this happening to him? It's so wrong. It's so unfair. It is. God, I miss him. I need him. I'm so scared for us. Listen, you and Tommy don't want to go to that hotel tonight. Stay here. I'm making an exception. I don't take men to my apartment. 
Now, only the pleasures of Caligula, old villas, maybe an occasional catacomb. That's temporary. You know, I'm a singer. end up with Roma erotic. I tried to get work in films and as a model. You know how it is. Oh, my God. <gasps> Have you ever seen him? In the newspapers. On TV. Poor Roy. Always letting other people use him. Is, uh, is that what he told you, that the Thorn used him? He was supposed to meet the Thorn in Rome. Yes, but Roy was having second thoughts. He said it takes both of us to finish this game, and I don't want to go on play. Has Thorn tried to reach you? Most customers don't leave their names. At least not their real ones. We are monitoring all the Roma erotica calls. And your phone as well. So what do you want me to do? Go back to your flat. And we'll hope the thorn calls. And if he does? Act easy and natural. We'll take it from there, OK? I'm scared. But I'll do whatever I can. Look, uh, I'll take you home. I'm hungry. And buy some dinner. Thorn has to get the missing half or lose everything. Is the lady telling the truth or uh, could she have it? As long as Thorn thinks she does, we have a chance to get him. Your boss's mood? Much improved. The Americans are getting such a bad publicity. Where can we expect the next murder in Rome? The Sistine Chapel? You must be very grateful to Dennis Thorn. You do have an interest in Dennis Thorne. Come on, Alex, we're not being taped. Harry, even on our private, untaped walks, certain subjects we do not discuss. And uh, Dennis Thorne is one. Your agents, our agents, they mustn't concern you and me. When my employers ask me what we talk about here, I say weather, women. Why checkers is a better game than chess? Mm -hmm. They don't believe that. They know you fish, and I fish. But they accept it as a trade-off. Because you convince them that you get more than you give. Just as you do. Dennis Thorne has contacted your people. That would be logical. But no deal? You have a saying that uh, half a loaf is better than none. Harry, not always. I never heard of this saying. On the other hand, half a blueprint would be worthless. Cummings had the other half. Now you have it. Which would mean that uh, Thorn has nothing of value. <laughs> On the other hand, perhaps you do not have it. There are other people who are interested. Yes, we understand our Mid-Eastern friends were so foolish as to advance him a large sum of cash to secure them the priority. And if he can't deliver both halves? There will certainly be another dead American in Rome. You've scheduled Senator Tunner to fly into the main Rome airport instead of Ciampino. Ciampino is used mainly by the military. It's easier to handle a large press turnout at Da Vinci. Ordinarily, I'd agree. But I happen to know that Thursday... Megan, these arrangements were finalized before you joined the staff. Now, I appreciate your being eager to make a contribution, but I suggest you give yourself more time. Don't move quite so fast so soon. You're the boss. <laughs> Um, 
Santo? Diane. Who is this? A friend gave me your name. I want to go to the pleasures of Caligula tonight with you. Alone. That'll be 400,000 lira. I don't care. I'll pay whatever it costs. Can you set it up? All right. 10.30 at the entrance. I need a name. Senor Spina. talked to half the population of Washington, D.C. last night. So you didn't have time for me. The diplomat's dilemma. Look, after we pick up Dennis Thorne and find the computer chip. And get the senator safely in and out of Rome. Then we have a nice weekend in Florence. Watch the sun rise over the Arno. I suppose you've been able to use Megan's special relationship with the senator? Why? Has she suggested I'm not making use of her talents? Of course not. I'm doing my job, OK? Trust me. Hey, don't shoot the trumpet player. Overreacting, sorry. Been a little tired lately and a little on the defensive. Well, not with me. Especially with you. Nancy, are you upset because I didn't call you last night? I buy your explanation, Harry. Why shouldn't I? See you later. What are you doing here? A generous man asked me to come here. He asked me to pray for the wicked and depraved who visit this place of sin. Diane. Huh? Where's Diane? La ragazza, dove sta la ragazza? I may not know the secret of life, but I do know great tasting nuggets. One can only ponder the universe, but one can certainly know one's nuggets. Know your nuggets. You should know. Kentucky Fried Chicken makes chicken nuggets like no one else, with the Colonel's secret blend of 11 herbs and spices. They're so scrumptious, they're the only nuggets to know. Confucius say nuggets of wisdom are never as tasty as these. Know your nuggets. We do chicken right. Burt Reynolds is stick. He was an ex-con trying to go straight. Until the mob murdered his best friend. Now he's finding it difficult. Why don't you push real hard? You might hit the water. To stick 
to the rules. Be drinking. That regular or Ethel? Ethel. Now say good night. Stick. Rated R. Starts Friday at select theaters. Monday, while the judge is away, we gotta take it off. Mark will play. I'm back. On Hardcastle and McCormick. Then, is it safe? Dustin Hoffman, Lawrence Olivier, and William Devane in Marathon Man, all starting at 8, 7 Central. Tomorrow. Embassy. Starring Nick Mancuso, Mimi Rogers, Eli Wallach, and Blanche Baker will continue in a moment. An ABC News Brief brought to you by Timex Watches. Now from Washington, Tom Gerald. Good evening. The White House has rejected Nicaragua's offer of a ceasefire and peace talks as propaganda. But that proposal is getting some serious attention on Capitol Hill. Top senators will meet with President Reagan tomorrow to try to work out a compromise on renewing aid to Nicaragua's Contra rebels. West Germany's Chancellor Kohl observed the 40th anniversary of the liberation of the Bergen-Belsen concentration camp by telling camp survivors Germans must accept responsibility for the Nazi tyranny. In Philadelphia, thousands of Holocaust survivors marked the anniversary with a march and speeches denouncing President Reagan's plans to honor Nazi war dead. Now this. The Timex wafer-thin digital. Our expansion band courts. Our sweet second-hand courts. Timex for Mother's Day. Brazil's President-elect Nevis died today after a 38-day illness. More later on the ABC Weekend Report. Found the home we want to own. Got the can we get the home loan blues. We need someone who knows. Yeah. The need a pro you can rely on. Shoulder you can cry on blues. Bank of America announces home loan centers with specialists who understand and can help you get the right loan when you need it. See a B of A home loan specialist and see how to make your dream house a reality. Bank on the leader and lose the all alone loan blues. AT&T is in customer satisfaction. Our people helped Pillsbury design a feedback line using AT&T 800 service. Can I freeze the cupcake? I can't. 500 calls come in every day, which makes Pillsbury very happy because satisfied customers come back for more. We can help your business in ways you never thought of. AT&T Long Distance Services, the better business machine. Talk with us. AT&T, the right choice. Nicaragua's leader extends an olive branch to story at 11. And now we continue with Embassy. Yes, sir. Agreed. No, sir. I can do it. Yes, understood. For your information, I have just been named control officer for the Tunnard invasion. Nelson? Has a virus. High fever. How are you? Depressed. I should leave the heroics to Vic. Oh, maybe I should go back to being a trumpet player. to connect the two deaths. Harry. Yes, I know. We're sure it's Thorne, but prove it. She was prettier than that. All in order for the senator's arrival? We leave for the airport at 11. Okay, Leo Pasquale was killed in World War II. Rafael Corsi migrated to Argentina 30 years ago. And Enrico Tamboni passed away just last spring. All gone. I did, however, manage to find you, Eleonora Luraski. Her. She won't remember me. She's a widow, and she lives in an apartment out where your village used to be. Hey, Mr. Berger. Okay. You should have a lawyer. Oh, what, 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 what's 
she going to do for me that Mr. Brackett isn't already doing? I want you out of here. Well, you both, you look great. The Neronis have been wonderful. And I'm willing to take Mom anywhere she wants to go. On the buses, on the Metropolitan A. That's what they call the subway. You two went on the subway alone? This painter tried to move in on Mom. Did she fix him? Whoa. You look pale and you're losing weight. Yeah, well, you know, the food, the food's okay. I got a candy bar you Oh, no, have. thank you, sir. I want to do something for you. Oh, no, listen, you already have. Bring this change of clothes and everything. And I feel 100% better knowing you two are okay. А ты, Иван, где же этот чип, который был у Каменской? У тебя нет, да? У меня нет, в Москве нет. Ты понимаешь, собака, в Москве нет! Я вам вот что скажу, и, может быть, это на вас произведет какое-то впечатление. Мы обязаны найти обе половинки этого чипа до того, как их найдут американцы. А если мы не найдем, то это будет Аривидерчи, Рома. Понимаете? you sent me. His Holiness is scheduled to be in residence all this month. Well, when will he be back? We told Senator Tunner that he absolutely had a papal audience. Maury, the Cardinal's charming, but he's not the Pope. I'll, I'll be in touch. Thanks. Everything is so different. <sighs> this building is built on what was the main piazza of Bacon. I thought it would make me feel close to the village. So days. After so many years. Why did you come back? I wanted to see Bay Campi one more time. Sit on a stone bench in the park. Have a cold drink from the well. Listen to the church bells ringing the Angelus. That's all gone. Many years. How long will you stay? I'm leaving tomorrow. I wish you hadn't come. Nothing changes. I come to you, you send me away. I never sent you away. You ran off to America. Abandon me. Liar. You were the one. You were marrying him. Why should I stay? I didn't want to marry him. You knew that, but you left me. You don't fight a battle you can't win. <laughs> a coward's answer. Don't call me a coward. Cowards never win because they won't fight. All these years, I've tried to forgive you. I never forgive you. Megan and I are going to go check the press arrangements at the lounge. See 
you there. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Rosalie, you remember Ambassador Ingram? Yeah. I'm not Good to see you. you again. And this is my deputy chief, Harry Brackett. How do you do? Pleasure. Your visit has created a lot of interest, Senator. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Razor blades? The hottest punk rock group out of London. They were going to slip in unannounced and somebody leaked it. Ah, uh, sir, there's a slight problem. I've just discovered... <laughs> We've got some rather strong competition, Senator. Uh, a punk rock group, uh, Razor Blades. This is your idea of a joke, Mr. Ambassador. I'm not laughing. We're setting up a special press conference at the embassy tomorrow. Forget it. I'm not interested in tomorrow. Is the American image here, Mr. Ambassador? And the United States Senator comes on a mission of goodwill and is ignored? May I suggest we discuss this in private, Senator? Senator, Rosalie? Maggot, honey, am I glad to see you. Welcome to Rome. I'm so sorry about this mix-up. Oh, forgive me, Mr. Ambassador, I'm Megan Hillier. I did suggest routing you to the other airport, but... Uh... Honey, I wish there was room for you to get in here and comfort us in our misery. Take my place, Miss Hillier. I'll ride in the staff car. Well, get in, honey. Megan, you know I am an easygoing man, but whoever was responsible for this mismanaged fiasco, who, who is the control officer? Harry Brackett. But this is not Mr. Brackett's fault. You can take my word for that. The press attache is Miss Russell. Nancy Russell. clean colors. It gets whites, liquid bleach white. It better, or my career. Really? Clorox 2 safe bleaching system cleans both whites and colors and activates high intensity whiteners to get the whites liquid bleach white. Clorox 2 got this really white. A star is born. Clorox 2 all fabric bleach safely cleans colors. Gets white, liquid bleach white. Inside this bottle is hair care so advanced it actually works inside your hair. Introducing new Style Shampoo and Conditioner. 
New Style works deep inside your hair. Deep inside each hair with natural collagen protein to moisturize, help mend, to bring out your hair's natural body and shine. New Style shampoo and conditioner. More beautiful hair. From the inside out. New Style. Come on, everybody. Whole lot of snacking going on. Cheese. It's the original cheese-flavored snack. Snack, baby, snack. Taste it, snack, baby, snack. Yeah, real cheese makes snack and a whole lot of fun. Make your meals sing with real cheese. A whole lot of snacking going on, yeah! I've driven a lot of sports cars, but to get a legendary one for under $11,000, you're only talking Mazda RX-7. Cockpit's very well thought out. Everything's right where it should be. And nothing delivers power as smoothly as Mazda's rotary engine. All the way up through all five gears. Near perfect balance, too. At 10945 sports car value just doesn't get any better. Mazda RX-7. Wednesday, on a special edition of 2020, American children reaching out for Ethiopia. All of us were heroes. Watch a special edition of 2020, Wednesday. Mr. Davidson, I'm Derek Townsend. I'm sure Mr. Brackett at the embassy told you of my offer. Townsend? Townsend. No. I don't remember. Well, never mind, sit down. All right. I'm a lawyer from Chicago, finishing up a case over here. When I read about your dilemma, I immediately called the embassy and volunteered my services. Mr. Brackett said he'd tell you about it. Apparently, he forgot. Yeah, look, do you think you can get me out of here? I'd like to try. I've been making some inquiries on my own, and frankly, I don't think they have the evidence to hold you on a murder charge. Well, they're sure doing it. Well, they seem to feel you're withholding information. I am not. I'm not withholding it. I don't even know what the hell they're looking for here. Well, apparently uh, this uh, man, excuse me, uh, Cummings, Roy Cummings, the man who was shot, was carrying part or all of some missing bomber specifications. Yeah. And the data wasn't found on his body. So maybe the other guy took it after he killed Cummings. The police don't seem to think so. Mr. Davidson, was the data passed on to you? No, they searched have to me. Ask these they have searched me. Nothing. On the tour bus, were you sitting with Cummings? No, my son was. I see. Well, I think I should talk with your son and with your wife as well. I called the hotel. Apparently, they're not staying there. Oh, no, no. They're staying with a uh, family. The Neronis, uh, a switchboard operator over at the, over the embassy. Yes, good. Well, I'll keep working on this. Don't worry, we'll get you out of here. Wait a minute. I'll be in touch. Wait a minute. Guard, you've got to stop that man. I know who that man is. Gosh, I... You stop him. Come. This is a most painful moment, Harry. I pushed for your promotion to deputy chief, and for two years, you have lived up to my expectations. But now, Almost simultaneously, on two separate fronts, we face the prospect of failure. Sir, about the airport fiasco. That though. is only one of my concerns. My staff are human beings. And human beings, with the possible exception of Senator Tunnard, make mistakes. Today, a mistake was made. Add that mistake to the cancellation of his audience with the Pope, and the result is we have made an enemy. Senator Tunnard is furious, and he is feeling vindictive. He'll go back to Washington and kill any hopes we had of Italian-American industrial cooperation. Hell hath no fury like a senator's scorn. His only kind words were for Miss Hilliard. I suggest she be used to help undo the damage. Yes, sir. However, my deepest concern is not for the senator. Where are we on Dennis Thorne? We're working with the Roman police, sir, pursuing every possible... Don't double-talk me, Harry! The Pentagon has me in its sights. The CIA is twisting the screws. I had a call from the Secretary of State at midnight, an unofficial call from the White House at 2 a.m. We had a great opportunity. I said we could deliver because you said we could deliver. If we blow this now, Harry, my butt will be in a sling. 
and you can imagine where yours will be. I want results. Quickly! Yes, sir. The uh, ambassador suggests that we use Miss Hillier to get back into Senator Tunnard's good graces. Oh, is that the ambassador's suggestion? Since there is a connection at the personal level. Yeah, well, Miss Hillier tends to bring everything down to a personal level. Aren't you the one who's done that? Why else did you refuse to listen to her about changing airports? Look, I was set up and I know it. And I'm furious with myself for being suckered into it. Megan is your assistant. She's here to be used. Well, then use her. That's what the ambassador wants, that's what Tunnard wants, and that's what you want. So use her. I'm going home. I don't want to be disturbed by anyone or anything. All right, Miss Russell. Come on, Miss Hillier. Don't just sit there. Step out into the center of the ring. Round one is yours. Hmm. Oh. Nothing. Same as before. There's film in this camera. It's Davidson's. Well, 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 maybe we ought to get it processed. The same tourist shots of the Forum, the Vatican, the Colosseum. I'll do it. You're clutching at straws, Harry. Where's that damn chip? Why haven't your men picked up Thorne? Damn it, he was right here in this building. Rome is a big place. He could be anywhere. wonderful restaurant on the Appia Palestrina. Bobby's. Mm. I have to get back to the embassy. Well, you have to eat. And we could talk business, how to soothe Senator Tunnard. Okay. You drive. You want to, so do it. I like it. A friends. He has several. Must be nice to have friends everywhere. Mm. What's life without close friends? I'm here to spend the night with you. Oh, Mike. Me and three other guys. Plain clothesman, Harry's orders. Round the clock surveillance for Tommy and Mrs. Davidson. That's the arrangement. The arrangement is the Davidsons and me inside, you outside. I like it. Why do heartless women turn me on? Introducing the all-new 1986 Mazda B2000 LX. At $69.95, it's a unique combination of luxury and sportiness. It's also fun to drive. The acceleration is brisk, the ride unexpectedly smooth and quiet. And the widest track in its class gives it great handling. Now you can experience luxury and sportiness for just $69.95, $1,100 less than Toyota and Nissan sport trucks. Mazda LX, experience it. Day. So we brought double cheeseburger back for a limited time. Do 
all beef patty. Two slices of cheese. At the risk of repeating yourself, say double, double cheese. cheese. Burger, burger, please. please. It's always a good time for the great taste. Double, double cheese, cheese, burger, burger, please. Twice of McDonald's. What do you mean I can't use your toothpaste? It's just for kids, Dad. It's new Aquafresh for kids. It's easier to pump, has a no-mess top, and Tom really loves brushing now. Maximum fluoride protection to fight cavities, gentle cleaners for young teeth, and a zingy new taste kids prefer. He loves the see-through pump. Accepted by the American Dental Association, new Aquafresh for kids. It's a complete toothpaste kids love. You loved her once. May 5th, come back for more. Lace 2. Tonight's movie, Embassy, will continue in a moment. Tuesday, Angela's best friend falls for Tony. Who's the boss? Then, Patty Duke's the president, and the Russians know all her closest secrets. President Mansfield's husband has been shot. How bad is it? We don't know yet. It just happened moments ago. Already we know about it. The Soviet Union has the best spy network in the world. I heard it from Ted Koppel. Hail to the Chief. After Who's the Boss? All starting at 9, 8 Central, Tuesday. This is Cheryl Jennings in the Channel 7 Newsroom. The FBI is closing in at this hour on a surrounded group of neo-Nazis at their Ozark Mountain Survival Camp. Arrests and injuries mark South African protests tonight in Berkeley. Rescue squads save a family from disaster along a dangerous East Bay Road. And the rock stars come out again for African relief. All that and more at 11. Ah, the signs of spring. The Club Med Summer. It's happening right now. See your travel agent or call us. Well, honey, go on out and get yourself a job. Well, honey did, and now he's mad. Backlash husbands on the next Donahue. Monday at 3 on Channel 7. While some places are stamping out burgers by the billions, Jack in the Box is creating burger classics, like a burger with lean ham and melting Swiss, or a burger with sizzling bacon and two kinds of cheese. Four burger classics with classic taste combinations you just can't make by the billions. Now try any burger classic with regular fries for only $1.99. Only at Jack in the Box. Ted Kennedy Jr., Monday on AM. And now we continue with Embassy. Maury, you are an angel of God. Now, I am not being sacrilegious. You, you've saved my self-esteem, my sanity. When will you break the story generally? Okay, that doesn't give me much time. Maury, thanks again. I owe you a big one. I don't know. Scusi. Posso aiutarla? I don't know. There's someone I want to contact. An American, Joseph Ferga. I know Joe. I'm Nancy Russell, and you must be Signora Lorosky. Uh, he's leaving again tomorrow. I don't know where he stays in Rome, so I came here. Maybe I can help. You did see Joe. Oh, I was so nervous. It all went wrong. I... I don't want to lose him again. I always blame somebody else for what happened before. It was always my fault. And it's happening again. Well, maybe he doesn't have to. He doesn't leave until tomorrow afternoon. Listen, there's something very urgent that I have to do right now. Then may I call you? I'll be in touch. I promise. Miss Russell, haven't you caused me enough grief? Senator, there's something very urgent that I have to discuss with you, and it cannot wait until tomorrow morning. If you've come to apologize... I've come to make amends. To get you the press coverage you should have had yesterday. And just how do you intend to do that? By putting you on a special plane to Nicosia in the next hour. Nicosia? That's in Cyprus, isn't it? What makes you think I want to go to Nicosia in the middle of the night? To share in one of the biggest news breaks of the year. With the Pope. The Pope? Oh, 
Come in. I'll call you a taxi. I'll get one. We haven't resolved the problem of Senator Tunnard. We'll pursue that tomorrow morning with Nancy. I enjoyed the evening. It doesn't have to be over. Let me give you a brandy. Tempting. One of life's persistent challenges, knowing when to leave. Russell, you told me on the phone there was some problem about me leaving Rome. Eleonora, she's the problem. And maybe the solution. What is this? Yesterday you sent me away. I didn't mean to. Why did you come back to Italy? I told you, to see the village, the old places. You came to find me. Find you? That would be asking for grief, wouldn't it? Looking for a woman who never wanted me. I wanted you, Joe. I've never wanted anybody else. Then why didn't you stop me? Why didn't you take me with you? I was so young, scared, proud, dumb. I dreamed of going to America, finding you. I dreamed of you walking in one day. Oh, please, don't go away again. I need you. Hey, Ellie. You sent Tunnard. Our Senator Tunnard to Cyprus? How did you persuade him to go? I promised him international coverage by UPI, AP, the three networks. The earthquake near Nicosia. That's what took the Pope out of Rome. He's been there secretly ministering to the victims. Today, they break the story. And the Senator shares in the reflected glory. Good for you. No, I've just begun to fight. Well, when you sight down the barrel, remember I'm on your side. I'd like to think so. But I'm no longer taking that for granted. And neither should you, my love. I, uh, I believe Megan wanted to suggest a possible solution. I'll advise her that the Tunnard problem has been taken care of. Nancy? Sono veramente orgoglioso di te. Thanks. I'm proud of you, too. Hello? Right. That's great news. I'm on my way. The police are releasing Ted Davidson. The tests prove he didn't fire that gun. Oh, Harry. Here are Mr. Davidson's pictures. Thanks, Ethel. Mm -hmm. See you later, Nancy. Miss Hillier, may I see you in my office? I'm glad you asked to see me. I wanted to suggest that no. you take... No. You are not going to suggest anything. You're going to listen. I beg your pardon. Sit down. I said sit down. Since you arrived, you've made no secret of the fact that you're after two things here. My job and my man. I don't intend to let you have either. I'm sorry. I really don't... You may you... stand if you prefer. But listen, I played right into your hands with the Tunnard arrival. You put me on the defensive, and I did exactly what you wanted. 
Well, I won't be suckered again. I don't think it's part of my job to I'll have to listen. I'll tell you what's your job and what isn't. And I am not intimidated by that oh-so-superior look. Or by your family's godlike reputation. Or by the finishing school's pseudo-sophistication. Did anyone ever tell you you wear your sweaters too tight? Now, you have a choice. You can resign. You can request a transfer. Or you can stay here on my terms. Now, if you want to stay on, fine. But no more pretending. I know you. And now you know me. Think it over. I underestimated you. So, we're even. Ma che cosa fa? Basta. Eh, che bel giubbotto che ha. Ma che va? Ma guarda questo casino, dai, andiamo! We don't know this song. Roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sea. <laughs> I talked with Inspector Casali earlier today. He tells me that uh, your wife and son Tommy yeah. have gone out to Villa d'Este in Tivoli. And he's keeping an eye on them. Would you like to go out there and surprise them? Oh, sure, sure. Well, great. I'll see what I can arrange for you. All right. Here. Have a look at your pictures. Oh, thank you. Scusa, Bosco. Hello, this is Harry Brackett of the American Embassy. I'd like my office, please. Hello, Ethel. I want you to arrange some transportation. Oh, my God. Mr. Mr. Brackett? Mr. Brackett? I'll call you back. Mr. Brackett, excuse me. Uh, Cummings. Right, right in the candy bar. Tommy offered it to me, see? Falling down, falling down, falling down.
Pinto. Si. Senor Brackett. Brackett. This is Vic. Thorn, he knocked me out. I think he's with them on the bus to Tivoli. Let's move. Renault introduces five years or 50,000 miles. Plus, protection on required maintenance. Small car protection even better than Chrysler. 550 plus on all Renaults like the Alliance Sedan, stylish Renault Encore, and 8.5, America's lowest factory financing. European technology with America's best small car protection. Only from Renault. Ready? Say cheese! Better cheddar! Okay, say cheese! Better cheddar! When you say better cheddars, you're really saying cheese, because we bake in real cheddar cheese for a light, crisp, real cheese taste. Everybody ready? Say better cheddars! Cheese! Now in Swiss, blue cheese, and nacho, when you say better cheddars, you're really saying cheese. AT&T is the better business machine. Gail McGovern. Bob Riley. Because the people of AT&T can tailor our long-distance services to help your business, large or small, work better in ways you never thought of. AT&T long-distance services, the better business machine. That's us. Talk with us. AT&T, the right choice. It's not a foreign ingredient, not a fancy gadget, and not a secret recipe. Yet what it does to humble chicken is nothing short of magic. It's Best Foods mayonnaise. Chicken coated with Best Foods, then rolled in breadcrumbs and baked is special chicken indeed. Remarkably tender, surprisingly moist, with a taste like never before. Best Foods fine mayonnaise makes chicken with considerably more pluck. Next Sunday. We could make a fortune together. A couple of blue-collar commandos. We can't stand each other. Brought together by revenge. You are dead meat. Brothers-in-law, starring Mac Davis. Then he's a law unto himself. There can be one major inconvenience. And whatever it takes, justice will be done. I'll be out of here in five minutes. Don't bet on it. Carl Weathers is Breaker. An all-new special double feature, Brothers-in-law, then Breaker, next Sunday, all starting at 8, 7 Central. So many steps coming down. Let's count them. I bet there's more than a hundred. One, uno, two, due, three, three, four, quattro, five, cinque, six. Over there. Do it! Do it! Now! now. No. Yes! No, follow! Follow! No. follow. No. Adesso! Adesso! Follow! No faccio mai una pazzia! Say do it!
have me too. I can't do it. At the end of this path is the most beautiful fountain. Oh, I'll wait here. <laughs> Keep this mark and remember that means you fell so far. <laughs>
I don't, I don't speak any Italian. I wish I did, but I... Leo, padre non parla italiano. <laughs> Maybe my son will teach me. <laughs> Solo il professor. I just want to say that um, the way you have cared for my wife and my son has shown me that we really do speak the same language. Ma per come ci siamo occupati della sua famiglia, gli fa capire che parliamo la stessa lingua. To our new family. Alla nostra nuova famiglia. To your health. Voltra salute. To your happiness. Felicità. And come real soon down to Texas. Huh? Benny, a presto, a Texas. <laughs> <laughs> looking particularly attractive tonight, Nancy. Why, thank you, Mr. Ambassador. That's a lovely corsage you're wearing. It's from Senator Tennant, and he's filled my office with roses. He tells me you've given him a new world image. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> Well, now you know I'm human and I have a flabby lip. That's bad for music and worse for diplomacy. <laughs> May I have this dance? Hmm. Usually you just take me into your arms. I am not taking you for granted. I thought I knew you. Hmm. That can take a lifetime. A lifetime? How about a week at Lake Como? Maybe we shouldn't try to plan it, Harry. Uh, maybe we should just take it. Okay, Harry? Whatever you say. We wanted to sell our house fast and for the right price, but Kim from our Century 21 office kept saying, don't worry, and she just wouldn't give up. And then on the worst day ever, she brought us the best offer of all. How do you find people like that? All you gotta do is pick up the phone, put number one, 21 for you, Century 21. If you're shipping by federal, here's another reason to switch to Airborne. One million dollars. Because every time you ship anything by Airborne, in the U.S. or internationally, we're keeping your airbill number along with your signature as your entry in our million-dollar lotto. On July 15th, we're going to pick the million-dollar winner. So the next time you're shipping a package by Federal, ship it by Airborne instead. Then you can count on delivery by 1030, and Airborne may even deliver one million dollars to you. Hey, come on. Hey, Mom. A kid needs some things to call his own. Mm -hmm. So buy your kid a sports car. Yeah. Or a VCR. Yeah. Or sugar-free Kool-Aid. Yeah! I thought you'd like the idea. It's the one sugar-free for kids. The only one with that awesome Kool-Aid taste. You were a kid once. Wasn't Kool-Aid your favorite? And Mom's, it has vitamin C, 100% Nutri-Sweet, and no saccharin. Michael? It's the one sugar-free for kids. The do-it-yourselfer who needs help relies on True Value hardware stores for dependable products, like a woods wire fluorescent work light that burns cooler longer than incandescents. And this master electrician crimp and cut kit with multi-purpose tool and terminals. To protect against electrical hazards, they offer a master electrician safety outlet. And outdoor projects automatically get extra light at dusk with this ITT mercury vapor light from participating True Value hardware stores and home centers.
This is Kathleen Sullivan. Steve Bell begins a week of reports from Vietnam tomorrow on World News This Morning, just before Good Morning America. This is David Hartman. Next week on Good Morning America, First Lady Nancy Reagan talks about her fight against drug abuse. Also, Deborah Shelton and Crystal Gale, plus Princess Stephanie of Monaco, all next week on Good Morning America. Tuesday, Angela Smith, when a headhunting sorority sister visits town on Who's the Boss, followed by the new comedy hit Hail to the Chief. Later tonight, watch the ABC News Weekend Report on most of these ABC stations. Don't drink and drive. A public service message from ABC. Health and wealth are the claims of a controversial program to lose weight. Some people charge it's nothing more than a sales scam. Monday, watch ABC's World News Tonight. Coming up next on Channel 7 News Tonight, the FBI is tightening the circle around a group of neo-Nazis under siege at the Ozark Mountains Survival Camp. Rescue squads are called out in the East Bay following an accident on a road that some people call a death trap. Injuries and arrests in Berkeley as the South Africa protest continues, and animal research at the University of California is under fire from a woman who says she will suffer just like the animals do. I'm Gary Redstock with Cheryl Jennings, Bev Johnson, and Martin Wyatt, next on Channel 7 News Tonight. When it comes to flying, you usually have to choose between the kind of an airline that makes you pay for a pillow and the kind that charges you an arm and leg to wait on your hand and foot. That's why I like World Airways. On World, you get the best of both. Low fares, and they indulge in my every whim. Except one. So it's not a perfect world. Yet. World Airways. For people who hate to waste money. You could choose Heineken solely because it's far and away Europe's favorite. And Europeans know their beer. Or you could choose Heineken because it's far and away America's number one imported beer. Americans know their beer, too. Or you could open it and pour it and choose it for the best of all possible reasons. Heineken is the best beer in the world. Come to think of it, I'll have a Heineken. Cruising down First Avenue, strutting like they do, they get what they're looking for. They're slapping my hair, okay? Even out there every day, street princes doing the things their way. They're snackers, got that sucker stare. Wonder what they want. Snackers stare. I don't need no direction, cause they're already there. We can buy them ourselves, but it's better to get them from a the snacker. They've got a great corn taste and a crunch that gets noticed. If you're a snacker, it's got to be Frito's brand. Step behind the wheel with a winner tonight. Now. Channel 7 News Tonight with Gary Redstock, Cheryl Jennings, Weather with Beverly Johnson, and Martin Wyatt with Sports. Good evening. The FBI says it hopes to have good news by morning about the neo-Nazi leader who was holed up in an armed camp in the Ozark Mountains of northwest Arkansas. For three days now, heavily armed lawmen have surrounded the encampment, continually tightening their circle. FBI agents say they spotted the man they want today. Jim Ellison's his name. He was inside a barbed wire compound then. But they made no move against him because they didn't want to start a gun battle. Ellison heads a white supremacist group called the Covenant, the Sword, and the Arm of the Lord. He's wanted on federal weapons charges. The FBI tonight says it is trying to negotiate Ellison's surrender. A large cache of military weapons was seized by sheriff's deputies today in Redwood City. They showed us Polaroid pictures of some of the weapons they confiscated, which included an anti-tank rocket gun. Deputies also found a box filled with marijuana. It was all inside this house on Arrowhead Lane. The three people inside at the time are in jail tonight, booked on charges including possession of explosives and assault with a deadly weapon on a police officer. The pipe bombing of a car may lead to organized crime charges against nine teenagers in Fort Worth, Texas, many of them honor students at Pascal High School. They are all part of a group called the Legion of Doom. It has left spray-painted warnings to other students that the uh, Dooms consider undesirable.
Police say the Legion of Doom is a vigilante group that has made a misdirected attempt to curb thefts and drug use at the high school. The DA will go before a grand jury tomorrow trying to get indictments on uh, the teenagers on organized crime charges. Cheryl? Gary, West German Chancellor Helmut Kohl is not changing his mind about having President Reagan visit the Bitburg War Cemetery during Reagan's pilgrimage to Germany next month. Bitburg is where several Nazi soldiers are buried. Leaders of the World Jewish Council at the site of the Bergen-Belsen concentration camp failed to convince Kohl that Reagan should drop that visit to Bitburg. Kohl's refusal came in spite of a very impassioned plea on behalf of the victims of Nazi genocide. Versöhnung. Reconciliation with the survivors and descendants of the victims is only possible if we accept our history as it really was, if we Germans acknowledge our shame and our historical responsibility. Many of the people at this 40th anniversary of the liberation of Bergen-Belsen by the Allies are survivors of the camp. They know that Reagan added this camp to his itinerary next month only after a huge outcry erupted over his planned visit to the graveyard where Nazi soldiers are buried. We've learned tonight that Nazi death camp criminal Josef Mengele may never be brought to justice by the usual methods. A West German magazine pointing out there are no fingerprints or recent photographs available to identify Mengele. He was once called the Angel of Death. The magazine, Der Spiegel, says that Mengele is apparently still alive and living in Latin America. If that is true, he is 74 years old. Gary? Cheryl, some violence is being reported tonight at the anti-apartheid sit-in on the UC Berkeley campus. This is the 12th day that protesters are sitting in, demanding the university stop investing in companies that deal with racially segregated South Africa. Demonstrators say a scuffle broke out when a band began to play on the steps of Sproul Hall, and police tried to unplug their equipment. Campus police arrested one man that they say assaulted an officer, but another demonstrator is charging tonight that it was the police who assaulted him. And cop just reached out and punched me in the side of the face. I went flying, my glasses went flying off. Campus police say the situation was very tense, but they say they've received no reports or complaints of any officers hitting demonstrators. Meantime, at Stanford University, it was the protesters versus Playboy again today. A Playboy magazine photographer is at Stanford looking for women to pose for a special Girls of the Pac-10 issue. Women's rights advocates have been protesting ever since Playboy arrived last week. And today, they presented a magazine representative with a symbolic bouquet. Our second gift are these lovely stands. We wear the flowers and offer you the stands. Um, we feel this is what, in effect, Playboy does to women. It severs the minds and souls of them from their bodies, uses them, and throws them away. The um, 